Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be showing you how to run Windows apps and games on your Macs. This is the M1 MacBook Pro running Crisis. This is the M1 MacBook Air running Crisis. Now I'm going to be showing you two methods of running it because I had a lot of difficulties getting it running on the Pro. It was easy on the Air. I also have it running on my Intel MacBook Pro. This is MS Paint Intel for life. That's right, I'm running Windows MS Paint on my MacBook Pro as well as what is this? This is Leisure Suit Larry, a Windows game. And look at that, I'm pressing buttons. It's even got sound. Uh -huh. Daylight! Wow, that must have been one hell of a night. But it's our brand. And today the sun is... Larry Larry. I also have it running on my Mac Mini. This is the Mac Mini here. This is Mac OS, as you can see. And what's the icon over there? It is Crisis. So I actually have Crisis on the screen right there. It's about to load up. About to load up. And there you go, Crisis is running on the screen. It's all working over here. Now, just to let you guys know, this doesn't work on all apps and games. It's uh, painful because sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it's easy. I've got two methods for you and I'm gonna start off on the MacBook Air because I haven't installed the second easy method on it first. So first I'm gonna show you the easy way of doing it, which, uh, there you go, it's running over here. Seems to be working. I think it runs a bit slower. Look, look at this, it's a bit choppy over here on this MacBook Pro and this one seems a bit more smoother than it. So I'm gonna be setting up the easy method first on this MacBook Air to show you if it works because this is the only computer I haven't set up on and I also have recorded the harder way of doing it which I didn't actually manage to get running on the Pro. I might have just been unlucky. Follow it along and hopefully you'll learn how to do it. So first up, let's jump to the Air and get it working. So the first thing you want to do is go into Safari, play on Mac and there's a website called playonmac.com. It's allows you to run Windows applications on Mac and you click download play on Mac and wait for it to download. Now, both methods I'm gonna show you uses Wine, Win E, Win Emulator, Windows Emulator. It is not, Wine is not an emulator. Wine is not an emulator because it doesn't emulate emulation on a hardware level, it just does it on a Windows level. So, now that you've got play on Mac downloaded, you just drag it in your applications folder and run it. When you run it, it's gonna say, oh no, it can't be installed because it's not verified. So you need to actually control, click, play on Mac and click open. And this time around, you can force open it, just like that. It's gonna bounce around a bit while it gets translated by Rosetta. Then it's gonna ask you to send analytics. You can choose yes or no, up to you. I'm gonna say no because I'm not that kind of guy. And there you go, beautiful interface right now. Easy as, you click install a program. And what's great about this emulator is, it actually gives you lots of apps and games that are pre-set up for you to install and run pre-configured so they can easily run for you. So I'm gonna wait for that to update. All right, so the great thing about this feature is it gives you lots of categories for you to pick from. So for example, in graphics, look at that, Microsoft Paint. Microsoft Paint, getting it retro. Now, I am gonna show you how to install an app or a game that isn't listed on here. And you go to the bottom left and it says, install a non-listed program. You click on that, you wait a little bit, and you click next, you click next, and then you have to click next again. Doing a lot of nexting. Next, by the way, was a company founded by Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple. Install a program in a new virtual drive, next. I'm gonna give it a name, I'm gonna call it Crisis. And I want to pick Configure Wine because I'm not going to be using the standard config of Wine. I'm going to be showing you how to customize it to make it work with prices. Special trick you need to do. But before we do that, I'm going to select 64 bits Windows installation. You wait a little bit while the virtual drive is being created and it may ask you to install some applications. And now it's launched the Configure Wine screen. So what you want to do for Crisis is select Windows XP because Macs, they have a problem running DX10. DX9 works fine, but the DX10 has issues. So if you just set the Windows version to Windows XP, it's gonna force Crisis to pick the DX9 renderer and that makes it run. So select the install file to run. I'm gonna click Browse 
I'm gonna just drag in the installer for the Crisis single player demo. Hit next, and it's gonna go ahead and start the installation program. Now this is pretty cool, because you can see the actual installer, the Windows installer is actually gonna appear on this Mac. It says it can't verify this app is free from malware. So I'll click cancel anyway, because it doesn't matter, because it's extracting away. So even though macOS gave it an error because it thought it was running it, Wines took it over and it's extracting the exe file and boom, what is that? Install Shield Wizard. You got a Windows installer on Mac right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click next, accept, easy, wait for it to install. Three, two, one, installing. What happened? <laughs> so the method that works on a MacBook Air didn't work on the Pro, and the method that worked on the Pro just reset my Air. I thought I was gonna give you a demonstration. Like, what is, what is this? Yes, configure wine. I'm doing it again. I'm not even gonna edit this bit out. I'm doing it again. Erase virtual drive, content will be lost. It's just saying right now that there's already a virtual drive that has Windows on it. So I've said erase it, start from fresh. Let's hope this installation will work. Why, why did it restart? Just got too much, too much pressure. I gave it too much pressure. It was, it gets shy on camera, these uh, systems. So we're just gonna wait and get to that installer again and hopefully it'll work this time. That's new, is that new? Mm -hmm. that, that's new? Now it's finished. Now it's gonna ask you, what EXE file do you wanna run? So I'm gonna select Crisis. Yes, Crisis. It's gonna make a shortcut on the desktop because it likes to do that. And then it's gonna scan the virtual drive again. I'm gonna say, I don't wanna make another shortcut. Next. And it's right there. Guys, are you ready? Do you think it will run Crisis? We already saw this Mac just started to restart itself for some reason. I'm gonna hit the run button right there. See that run button? You click on that and you leave it, you zoom out and you pray. Pray to whichever person of DT, of power you believe in. Is it Google, is it Amazon? Is it the GLD? Which one? And it's working, Woohoo! There you go, crisis has been averted. Oh, actually, it's a black screen. Gonna make sure we got sound, yes. It's loading. All right, so that's Crisis on the screen there. Now I'm gonna show you the second method of installing it. I prefer this method, but again, it didn't work on my MacBook Pro. So the first thing you do is go into Google and search for Wineskin Winery and get it from the GitHub repository. Go to releases over here, and I'm using the pre-release for testing. Of course, when you watch this video, Potluck, hopefully the one you pick will work. Scroll down a little bit. You want to select wineskinwinery.txz. Beautiful. Once it's downloaded, you just double click that file. It will extract and you'll get an app called Wineskin Winery. You copy that app and you move it to your applications folder. Once it's in there, you just open it up and it's going to say, yo, you're not a verified developer. So hold control down, click on the icon and click open. That will allow you to force open the application. Of course, viruses and all that stuff at your own responsibility. I'm running it on mine, seems to be working fine. Anyway, now you've got this beautiful screen, it says Wine Skin Winery. You press that plus button and you install the latest engine. I'm making sure it's an X64 bit engine. There's a list there, the top one is the latest one, so I'm just gonna go with that. It's gonna go ahead and install wine on my wine skin. <sighs> now that it's downloaded, you wanna click the update button and it's gonna install the latest version of Wine Skin. Let it do that, and you're ready to rock. Once it's installed, you wanna create a new blank wrapper. Now a wrapper is just a, kind of like a, a virtual environment for your apps and games to run. They set it up so it's individual apps run on its own wrapper to keep it conflict free. That's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna set up Crisis, C-R-Y-S-I-S, -S. that's what I'm gonna name it. So Crisis has now been created. I'm gonna click View Wrapper and then open it up. 
So it's giving me some options, advanced set screen options and install software. I'm gonna be installing Crisis from scratch. Now there's three options here that you're presenting with. Choose setup executable. And I'm just gonna to go to the downloads folder where I've downloaded a demo, single player demo of Crisis. I'm gonna see if it runs. And for some reason, it's just giving me the busy sign. So I'm just gonna force quit that by holding control option, force quit. And I'm gonna try it out again one more time. It shouldn't take that long. If it takes longer than a couple of seconds, something's gone wrong. So I'm gonna go inside my app file and that's inside users, admin applications, wineskin. And instead of running crisis, I'm gonna hit control and show package contents and just launch wineskin from inside. Click install software one more time and see if it will do it this time. I'm restarting my MacBook from fresh and hopefully it'll work this time. So it looks like it didn't actually set up the Crisis app as it should have. So I'm gonna close that down, empty the bin and relaunch it for the second time. So inside my applications folder, wineskin winery and create blank wrapper Crisis. There you go. So on the third attempt, of creating a new wrapper. I was presenting with a screen called Wine Gecko Installer. If you don't see that screen, it means it hasn't set up the app correctly. I think it was conflicting because I was trying to use a QuickTime screen recording session. So all I did just then was quit the application, deleted the app that it made, and then created it again for the third time. This could also be a conflict with Rosetta 2, that seems to always be a bit slow when using applications for the first time. But now that I've got that Wine Gecko installer screen, things are looking good. So install, and it's gonna go ahead and install Wine Gecko installer. And now it's gonna ask me to install again. So I'll click install, downloading, and it will go ahead and install that. So it's created the wrapper in Finder, and the wrapper is 1.16 GB. Yo, 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 1.16 GB. Let's open that up and now click install software. Choose setup and I've got my Crisis single player demo inside the downloads folder. Choose and it's gonna go ahead and tell me no new executables were found. You see this works completely fine on the x86 except on the M1, you got M1 issues. M1, the motorway of doom over here in Queensland. There is a workaround however. So when you double click on that folder, Crisis, and you go to Installer, you can copy a folder inside instead. So if you already have your game installed on another computer or on an old Mac or just anywhere, you can just copy it over. So there it is inside Program Files. I'm gonna copy the Electronic Arts folder by just doing it like that, clicking Choose, and it's gonna ask me where the executable is. So my one is in bin 32 crisis. Click OK, and it is now installed. Now before we run that game, before we run it, we need to do one thing. We need to go into advanced, and you gotta go into tools, and config utility. Now the problem is, Mac OS only emulates DirectX 9 well. So by default, Wine runs at Windows 7, which means applications are gonna try launching with DX10 instead. So you need to just force use Windows XP if the app doesn't work. And if you do that, we're gonna run it. It should just work. So in three, two, one, a crisis icon should appear on that screen. Yep, the second method was a bit of a pain as well. This one is easier to use. Now guys, there are so many tweaks. You can play around with Win E Wine, and I managed to get Steam kind of running. It would installed, installed, and it kind of launched. Black screen I got. Epic Games Launcher, I kind of got that installing. It was installing, and then it complained about an error. Got lots of stuff potentially installing. I even got AutoCAD almost installing, but um, I couldn't manage to get it through the final hurdle. There's lots of tweaks you can play with. If you manage to get anything cool running, let me know in the comment section below. But for now, enjoy. Windows emulation on your Mac, 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 but most importantly, remember, Intel for life. That's Leisure Suit Larry up to. Yeah, boy, get to the pub.
And then this like mega hot guy comes up to me and I was like, hey, uh, <coughs> you don't have to talk about me in the third person, maybe. <laughs>